Hi, Pat. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Welcome. Do you know why we are here? No. Great. Let's start off with an easy one. My name's Pat. I'm from a suburban Blair, which is near Wathena, Kansas. When I had purchased probably 200 fat quarters and I managed to make a pot holder. So that was the first quilting. I had sewn all my life, but I had not I did not start quilting till halfway through. <laughs> so why did you wait? Is it something you've always wanted to try and do? No. I grew up started sewing when I was six, when my grandmother started teaching me, and then in 4-H, I sewed through 4-H and, and was good at it, and so I made clothes, made kids' clothes for my sons, and then they got to where they did not want to wear homemade clothes, but I still wanted to sew, so, and I had friends that quilted, and I'd go to the quilt shops with them, and it's like, ooh, pretty fabric. I'll buy a fat quarter of this or fat quarter of that. So I have come to admit that my hobby is really fabric collecting and the quilting is just a sideline to that because I'll usually pick a more complex pattern than I need to. And so it takes me quite a while to make a quilt. I started out doing floor plans from the time I was in first grade and I'd draw out little floor plans. After we built our house, I no longer needed floor plans, so I transferred that to graphing out some quilt patterns when I'd see one that I liked that I didn't have a pattern for. And so I had to use them for something, so I combined the fabric collection with the graphing and started quilting and liked it. Do you prefer patterns or do you prefer kind of doing your own thing? I kind of do my own thing. I will see a picture that I like, oh, I like that block or I like that border or I like that portion of that block, but I don't like the rest of it per se. And I will pick and choose and put them together and make my own thing. Yes. Yes, I don't have, I'm working on one now, but it's like all shades of turquoise, blues, greens, purples. It's all one fabric, one color segment. Right now I have two. I usually just power through one, but I'm working on one that is a lot of little pieces I've got half the blocks made and I decided to take a break and make a simpler one, which did not turn out to be much simpler, but they're both going to see an end someday. <laughs> well, I, I think it was, well, could probably go back to when my grandmother had a trunk and she we were always wanting to see what was in that trunk and one day she showed us what was in that trunk and one of the things was a quilt that her sister had made i believe and all i could think of was that was the ugliest thing i've ever seen because it was they used to be popular to do these hawaiian patterns and then they'd use red and a yellow orange with it, which I know that's Chief's colors now, but I thought that was hideous in that quilt. And so that's probably the first one I thought, I could surely do better than that. Because <laughs> the potholder turned out okay. <laughs> I thought, okay, I d if I'm going to chop up a whole big bunch of fabric, I know now that it can turn out okay. <laughs> it was successful. It was a creative thing that I can do. 
and it looked pretty. I don't like the cutting out. I don't like to cut out the pieces because they've got to be so precise and it'll make my back hurt, it'll make my hand hurt, <laughs> and I'm just glad when I'm done with the cutting. Especially when I'm figuring my own, I will invariably figure the wrong number of pieces that I need and not cut enough or cut way too many. And so it's always a relief when I've got it, got the cutting done. Probably my granddaughters, since they have kind of, sh they've shown a brief interest in sewing. And so I'm hoping that they continue that, even though they're so busy with all the school activities and the like. But, and my son, it did stick with my son. He, he made curtains for his son's room and he'll patch his own clothes. And, he stole my little Kenmore sewing machine, so <laughs> he's in business. <laughs> he's set. Yeah, as any good Marine should be. <laughs> and I think my other son sews, but he didn't, didn't have a sewing machine he could swipe from mine, so the Air Force got shorted then. <laughs> because I like sewing, I like the puzzle aspect of it, that I can graph something out and make that puzzle and then turn that puzzle into something out of fabric. And fabric is easier to work with than woodworking because I've also done that and you can ease the fabric and you cannot ease that piece of wood any way you try. So fabric is the way to go and I've got something useful and it can be given as gifts and handed down to next generations. <laughs>